Hi friends, welcome to another new lecture of Era of Geology. In this lecture, we will discuss about the hardy Winberg equilibrium population genetics mathematical problems. So, our first problem is actually in a population, the recessive genotype small a small a is 1 out of 1000 individual. That means small a small a is present 1 out of 1000 individual. And we have to calculate the genotype frequency of capital A capital A and capital A small a. So basically, we have to find out the genotype frequency of capital A capital A and capital A small a. And it is given that the genotype frequency of small a small a is present 1 out of 1000 individual. Okay. So how we will solve this mathematical problem is that we will consider that the frequency of capital A capital A is actually P square and the frequency of capital A small a is actually 2P Q and basically the frequency of small a small a is actually <coughs> Q square okay friend so basically the frequency of capital A capital A is actually P square. The frequency of capital A small a is actually 2 P Q and the frequency of small a small a is actually Q square. And basically it is given that the frequency of Q square is I mean to say small a small a is actually 1 out of 1000. 1 out of 1000. So it is actually given in the question. So if the q square is actually present 1 out of 1000, then if I calculate only the q, then I have to root this. So basically root 1 by 1000, then I will get 0 0.031. So basically, I have calculated the value of Q. Okay, friend. So it is given in the mathematical question that the Q square, I mean to say, small a small a is present 1 out of 1000. So I have to calculate Q only. Okay. And in the next step, I will consider that this population, this population is actually present in Hardy Unbar equilibrium. So basically hardy Winberg equilibrium is actually P plus Q equal to 1. This is actually hardy Winberg equilibrium. So I consider that this, this actually this population is present in hardy Winberg equilibrium. So I know the value of Q that is 0 0.031. So I can write P equal to 1 minus Q so that from here I will get the value of P. So, 1 minus 0 0.031, okay. So, the value of P is actually 0 0.969, this is the value of P. So, now I have calculated the value of Q as well as I have calculated the value of P and so far I know that if I have to calculate the genotype frequency of capital A capital A then I have to calculate the P square the P square that I have to calculate so that I will get the value of capital A capital A I mean to the genotype frequency of capital A capital A so the genotype frequency of capital A capital A equal to P square and the P square is actually this is 0. 969 into 0 0.969. So basically, the answer is actually 0 0.938. So now we have calculated the genotype frequency of capital A capital A that is P square equal to this. This is the genotype frequency of capital A capital A. Now, this is not the end. We also have to calculate the capital A small a genotype frequency. Okay, friend. So basically, 
the formula to calculate capital E small a genotype frequency is actually capital A is small a equal to 2 P Q. Now 2 into the value of P is actually 0 0.969 into the value of Q is actually 0 0.0. 3, 1. So basically we know that the genotype frequency of capital A small a is actually 2PQ. So I have write 2PQ and the value of P and Q and the answer is actually 0 0.060. So this is the genotype frequency of capital A small a. So if I start from the beginning again then I have to write the genotype frequency of capital A capital A is actually P square, capital A small a is actually 2 PQ and small a small a is actually Q square and it is given that small a small a I mean Q square is present 1 out of 1000 I mean so 1 by 1000 so I have to find out only the value of Q not Q square so I have wrote this so this is wrote to uh, 1 by 1000 and then I have got this value of Q square and from here I consider that this population is actually present in hardy invert equilibrium so I wrote P plus Q equal to 1 okay so from here I can get the value of P if I put the value of Q in this place so P equal to 1 by 1 by Q and then the value of P is actually 0 0.969 now I calculated the value of Q as well as the value of P. So I can <coughs> actually write capital A capital A equal to P square equal to this and the value of genotype of capital A capital A is actually this and the value of I mean to say the genotype of capital A small a is actually 2 P Q of 2 into 0 0.969 the value of P and 0 0.031 the value of Q. So I have got this value and this is the genotype frequency of capital A small a. Okay friend. So let's move to the next mathematical type problem. So friend now we will discuss about the second mathematical problem of population genetics of hardy invert equilibrium. So our second mathematical problem is actually calculate the frequency of LM and LN allele from the following data on MN blood group. So basically in this mathematical problem we have to calculate the LM and LN allele frequency. Okay. And this is the data that is given from where we actually calculate the frequency of LM and LN allele. So this is the data. So basically in this mathematical type question we will use two type of formula to calculate this lm and ln allele frequency so basically the first formula is actually to calculate lm allele frequency we have to use this formula this formula is actually 2d plus h to n okay and the second formula is actually L n actually to calculate ln we will use this formula this is actually also similar but little different to uh, r plus h to n okay this is the second formula to calculate ln okay so basically this is m this is mn and this is n this is the total sample size so basically the total sample size is actually 86 this is the total sample size 86 this is m which is which is actually 53 this is mn which is 29 and this is n which is actually 4 okay so basically we can write the frequency of m equal equals to p square which is represented as d which is actually 53 and basically mn which is actually 2pq which is represented as 
8 which is actually 29 and basically n which is actually denoted by u square and it is represented as r which is actually 4 and you can write down this formula in your notebook so that it will be easy for you so basically these are the value and this are this is how we can represent them okay so now from here the total sample size is actually 86 so now 86 n is actually in this case if n is actually total sample size if n is actually total sample size in this formula okay so here we can write that to calculate lm lm allele frequency from the given data we have to write to the value of d is actually 53 53 plus the value of h is actually 29 and the value of n is actually 86 in this case in this sense the n is actually 86 this is the total sample size so 2 into n which is actually 86 okay so if we solve this equation and uh, we will get the answer that is actually 0 0.7 eight four okay so this is actually the uh, the lm 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 allele frequency okay friends so this is actually the lm lm allele lm allele frequency from the given data from the given observation okay and now we have to calculate the lm allele frequency from the given data of mn blood group type so the formula to calculate ln blood ln allele frequency from the given observation so we have to write 2 and basically the value of r is actually 4 plus h is actually 29 and in this sense the n is actually sample size so 2 into 86 okay so when we will solve this equation, we will get the answer which is actually 0 0.216. So this is actually the allele, the ln allele frequency of the given observation. So basically this is the ln allele frequency from the given data of MN blood group. So this is how actually we can solve this type of mathematical problem of MN blood group type. Okay friends, so let's move to the second type of, I mean to say the third type of mathematical problem. So friend, now we will discuss about the third mathematical type question regarding third invert population genetics math. So basically our third math is actually find out whether the given population is in third invert equilibrium or not. And this is the given data. So basically we have to judge this given data, this population that whether this population is present in Hardwinberg equilibrium or not. So basically if here it is given that the total number which is actually 50 and capital A capital A and also capital A small a. But here small a and small a is actually missing. So we have to calculate the small a small a from the given data. So the way to calculate small a small a is actually total is 50 right 50 minus 50 minus 2 plus 16 okay friend so here it is actually 32 so basically small a small a is actually 32 and it is 16 it is 2 and the total is actually 15 okay friend so now at first we have to calculate the genotype frequency of each so basically the genotype frequency of capital a capital a is actually p square p square which is actually uh, 2 by total 50 
the value is actually 0 0.04 okay friend so this is actually the genotype frequency of capital a capital a now we will calculate the genotype frequency of capital a small a which is actually 2 p q okay friend so basically it is actually 16 divided by total so it is also 0 0.32 now we will calculate the genotype frequency of small a small a so the small a small a is actually denotes by q square so basically it is 32 divided by 50 so here the answer is actually 0 0.32 Six four. Okay, friend. So this is the answer. So we have calculated the genotype frequency of each capital A, capital A, capital A small A, and small A small A. So now we consider that we consider that this population is present in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium equation is actually P plus Q equal to one. So if we want to calculate the value of q then q equal to 1 minus p so if we want to calculate the value of q then we have to, to we have to know the value of p so here we have to use one more formula this formula is actually p equal to p squared plus half into 2 P Q to know the value of P so that we will get the value of Q. So here we can write the value P square value is actually 0 0.04 0 0.04 plus half into 2 P Q. The value of 2 P Q is actually 0 0.32 0 0.32 okay friend. So if we solve if we solve this then we will get the value of 0 0.2 if we get actually if we solve this equation then we will get 0 0.2 okay friend so we will consider this as x we will consider this 0 0.2 and to say the p as x okay so now here the value of p is actually 0 0.2 so here we can put the value of 0 0.2 in the place of p 0. 2 then we can actually get 0 0.8 right friend so now the value of q is actually 0 0.8 and the value of p is actually 0 0.2 and the value of q is actually 0 0.8 we will consider this 0 0.8 as the value of y the value of y okay so we will consider the value of 0 I mean to say the value of q 0 0.8 as 1 and we will consider the value of p which is actually 0 0.2 is x now we will apply one more equation to know whether this population is present is in Hardenberg equilibrium or no not so the third equation that we will apply is x square plus 2 p I mean to say 2xy to xy plus y square. It is actually the, you can say that it is actually the formula to know the expected frequency, the expected genotypic frequency. It is the formula to know the expected genotypic frequency. Okay. So it is also a genotypic frequency that we have got from this data. But now we will calculate the expected genotypic frequency by the use of this formula so basically here the value of x is actually 0 0.2 so it will be 0 0.2 square plus 2pq that is actually 2 into 0 0.2 into uh, y is actually 0 0.8 okay and y square is actually uh, 0.8 okay friend square so 0 0.2 0 0.2 is actually 0 0.04 
this is the answer and 2pq is actually 0 0.32 okay and it is also which this this is actually this this is actually this and if we calculate this then we will get uh, 0 0.64 okay so from here we calculated this and we have got this this is the x square is actually 0 0.04 y square is actually 0 0.64 and basically 2pq is actually 0 0.32 right friends so this is actually the expected genotypic frequency and this is also the genotypic frequency so if we look at here we can see that the small a small a which is actually q square q square is also y square the value of q square which is actually, actually considered as y square the value is 0 0.64 and here the value also 0 0.64 so it is also matches with the expected genotype frequency look at this capital a small a which is 2pq and the 2pq in this formula the 2pq is considered as 2xy in this genotype frequency the 2pq is actually 0 0.32 and in this expected genotype frequency the 2xy is actually uh, 0 0.32 so it is also matches and the capital a capital a which is actually considered as p square but in this formula the p square is considered as x square because p x so p square is actually x square and q y so q square is actually y square so basically the value of p square is actually 0 0.04 and in this formula the p is actually x so x square is actually 0 0.04 so this value also matches with the expected genotypic ratio so it is actually the genotypic ratio and it is actually the expected genotypic ratio so our expected genotypic ratio matches with the genotypic ratio so we can say that our population that means this population this given data of this population is present in hardy winberg equilibrium frame okay if this genotypic ratio does not matches with this expected genotypic ratio then this this type of population will never be in Hardwinberg equilibrium but due to the actually due to the genotypic ratio matches with the expected genotypic ratio so we can say that this population is present in Hardwinberg equilibrium okay you can see that capital a capital a p square which is actually x square 0 0.04 0 0.04 and all the rest values are matches so this is our today's lecture in exam this type of math related Hardwinberg population type math will come in your exam you can note down this formula in your notebook so that you will get help from them thank you so much for watching this lecture till this end subscribe this channel and also like this lecture thank you so much